Man here coming at you with another video from the Otaku Vault. Yes, it is another monthly RAM unboxing. Um, back to back, considering this is the only video I made this month, but that's because I have so much planning and scripting done for some reviews. I wanted to be them to be a bit more polished than I've had in the past. Um, so I got that going, and um, I'm rearranging my office and I've been uh, cleaning, clearing out, and trying to uh, make room because I have so much stuff that's come in that I've just piled up in the office. And so that's why there hasn't been really any other angles of video in my past videos or the past couple months because that stuff's been piling up. And a lot of the stuff I don't is stuff I don't want people to see uh, for, because it's obviously stuff, figures, and other things for future videos. Um, and so I've been cleaning and clearing that up. And I got shelving to put in, so... Um, that's what we're working with. Um, and so I can get some new angles and new different types of filming and of videos. Um, so uh, that should be what we expect or what I expect to give to you or to show you next month is new, just new ways of filming. I'll probably still have this way of filming in uh, on some occasions, but um, we will have... Uh, a new table for 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 the various things and stuff like that. So onward to the actual uh, figure. And this is a figure, one of those things where um, we have RAM, but also we have RAM because this figure is a two for fit figure in a sense that um, there is two characters on one figure, um, which is was different than the a couple months ago where I had one RAM figure and one RAM figure that are basically mirrors of each other, but this is like a mirror in a sense in one figure. And I, th with this figure, I think it kind of fits with um, this month and how it's the new year and everything. And it, it just reminds me of like a New Year's party or a certain more of a um, eye-catching type of idea or thing. Uh, like a, I don't know, a sexy type thing. Um, you kind of see in certain aspects of art and stuff that deals with such things. But, um, and that would be the, um, Pudding a la Mode figure from Bandai. Ram and Ram, Pudding a la Mode. A giant cup. And then sitting in the cup. So, yes. This is a, I find this an interesting figure because this, this is actually, I didn't, I didn't get this there, but, um, when, um, at least in our area, they don't exist anymore. I think they closed them, but, um, the Think Geek arm of GameStop, I found it interesting before they closed, um, that they actually branched out into ReZero figures, and the fun, the funny thing I thought was that this was one of the figures they chose to, uh, have at Think Geek, considering, all the really normal, more normal type figures, just regular figures that they had. Um, it was interesting that they didn't have just the regular normal uh, style Ram and Ram. Um, so, yeah. But once we get this thing open, we'll see what it looks like. So, here we go. Now I got it opened, um, they... Came comes in three parts, and um, here's Rem looking all cute and beautiful. And then there is Ram. And 
And then we have the pudding a la mode. And this glass. And it looks like a bit of a smudging. I'll have to clean that up later. Excess, I don't know. Looks like there's a, just a little bit of extra dust or something that's that accumulated inside. Or maybe, I mean, some of the stuff looks like uh, actual fog, like it's like cool or something. I don't know. I could just be making something out of nothing. But, uh, looks really cute. Looks tasty. Nice pudding dessert. And the reason I thought it kind of looked like, like something like a sexy type thing for like New Year's, if you think about, um, like a giant wine glass. Not, no, not, not a giant wine glass, but a giant, what I should say, a, uh, like a champagne glass. And, or what, like, you have the woman or girl, uh, sitting in a, uh, giant champagne glass. It's kind of thing that makes me think of this. What this makes me think of. And so let's put them in there. And they go in like so. And they sit very loosely in there. I kind of like if you maybe push down a little to anchor them. Though, once you get it um, them in there, they'll flying move around a little bit, but but yeah. So yeah, um, they're really cute. Nice little tiny, nice little small figure. Um, it uh, it runs usually um, on normal retail price a little over fifty dollars, um, and mainly probably because the intricacy having the separate figures and then having the uh, molding of the dessert and everything uh, looks quite lovely and cute, and then both in the dessert cup. <laughs> so there you have it. Let's get a closer look. As I lightly turn it, looks like it stays pretty stable. But I would, but any kind of real shaking of it would make them topple over. So, but how I would change this figure maybe is to probably have some kind of anchoring somewhere like like you can push them down like this but they're not gonna stay um but yeah the whole idea would be it is that they would the when making this they thought probably thought that them leaning up against each other would keep them stable but it really doesn't so there you have it ram and ram hollow mode figure And there we have it, the Ram and Ram a la mode figure from Bandai. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.